never have I ever had a crush on. No. Oh my God. Same. And my brother, my brother catches me every time. And then I'm so embarrassed. He's Hello, Alan. Hello and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. So let's go. So have you ever played the game? Never have I ever. Oh, no, I haven't played what kind of game it is. Okay, so the game goes something like this. I say, never have I ever done gardening. So that means I have never done gardening. And then you have to tell me yes or no. That means, have you done gardening or have you never done gardening? If you have, then I get a point. If you have not, then you get a point. Okay. So, so let's, uh, you want to play? Yeah, I want to play. Okay, so let's go. Never have I ever failed a class. Like, uh, I, I have never failed the class as well. Okay, so that means you get a point now. Okay. Never have I ever talked to my toys after I was not a kid anymore. Uh, I don't remember playing with toys even so I, I can't answer it. Yeah. Wow, you, you were too cool even as a kid. Yeah. I remember talking to my dolls even when I was not a kid. No, I had, I had, I had been playing with, with toys, but I don't remember those moments here. Yeah. I would have played when I was very child, you know, like around five, four, six. Okay. Thankfully, it's the same for me. I played it when I was like 10 or 11. I don't play anymore. Um, never have I ever had a cavity in my teeth. Cavity, no. Never I had. Never have I ever had a crush on a cartoon character. No. I never watched cartoon, okay? I just watched cartoon and I get, I became adult, you know? And that was Motu Patlu, one famous Indian cartoon. Before, you never watched Doraemon, Shin Chan, uh, no. all those other cartoons? Because I have not been in such a background where I could be exposed to these cartoons. See, I have watched Ramayana, Mahabharata with my, you know, grandmother or family members. Wow, very spiritual. Okay, never have I ever sang in the shower and then got caught doing it. Yeah, I, I, I did it. <laughs> so you got caught while singing? I'm like, yes, my friend had caught me so many often. But I was kind of singer who used to, you know, sing, uh, like openly in shower, right? I will sing loud, loud in shower too. Oh my God, same. Yes, and my brother, my brother catches me every time and then I'm so embarrassed. He's like, stop singing. I'm trying to study. And then I was like, oh my God, I thought I was not that loud. So just to avoid that now, I've started playing music in the shower so that no one can say you sound bad while singing. Okay. Mm. All right, let's look at some vocabulary now. We've played a little game. Uh, never have I ever pulled an all-nighter. All night? All-nighter. I'll write it in the chat. Pull an all-nighter. Do you know what that means? No. Okay. To pull an all-nighter means to stay up the entire night. So let's say oh. I decide that I have a lot of work today. So I'm going to not sleep at all and complete all the work. So that is called pulling an all-nighter. I have done this. You so have? Many often, especially in standard 11, 12, you know. I uh, had lots of work, lots of subjects to study. So I used to. No, uh, wake up all night. How old are you now? Now, um, uh, uh, if I 
tell you my age according to my father's diary then 25 years old and according to my certificate and indian aadhar card i'm just 23 Okay, so I should not quite say young. Just, yeah, I should not say just because twenty three is not just for me. Yeah, I think it is the age where one should know everything about this. Not everything about this world, but should be acquainted well with this world. Mm, I think my views differ when it comes to that. I think that's the age when you just start exploring because in your teens you're not really going out that much out of your house, especially in the Indian culture. You know, you're very sheltered. your parents don't let you go late at night your parents don't let you stay at your friend's place but once you're in your 20s you get that freedom to explore and that's when you really start learning about the world but it was not my case i have been living alone since just 13 or 14 years you know old age so like when i was 13 since then i'm living alone on my own you know so that's why i am very well acquainted with this world now All right. That's I think that's just a difference in experiences and perspectives. No, I think Indian parents are overprotecting their child. Yeah, I don't like it anymore. Because, you know, <laughs> child should be exposed to their life just around 10, 9 years old. No animals except human being are giving that much care to their, you know, wards. like look at the animals just they give birth they nurture them for 6 months 7 months and after that you know their child are free to do everything and they are living absolutely fine but we have been you know just like fed milk by our parents till 30 i am shocked <laughs> with it, this idea i mean it's not human beings like many cultures western cultures once their child is like in their preteens they stop caring about them as much they they give them the freedom to explore the world mainly like in the indian subcontinent and the area surrounding it they're like no you have to you know stay with us till you marry not move out because then we'll be lonely that's what my mom says <laughs> <laughs>